Hi folks, it's Rob from Brush and Balkan. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint a baden of the spoilers base. Now I've painted the baden in an earlier video, so I'll link that below and at the end of this one. And this is just to paint up his base so that you can stick him down to it. So you can see the base itself. It's got the big plastic bit in the middle with loads of detail on, and then you've got a bit of just a normal plain base around it. Now I'm doing all my bases with Astro Granite debris around the outside, so we're going to paint the main mound with Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. That'll give us just the plain base for the rubble and mound of dirt that this marine is lying on. Now because you're doing this as your first colour you don't really need to worry about going onto any of the other bits too much. You will be going over all of those with the different base colours in a bit. So if you get some grey on the skulls or the marine, don't worry about it. Well, the first colour we're using on a marine here is McCrag Blue from Citadel, and that's because we're going to be doing him as an ultramarine. We're going to be doing all of them in blue, except for his helm, which I actually just started there, because I want to do that in white, so he's like a first company veteran. Because why have a bog standard space marine lying on the deck when you can have one of the more revered ones. Like so. Next up we're going to be using Citadel Retributor Armour. Now, I haven't included the paint here, but I'll tag it in the description below and try and get some sort of pop up with it on. Like so. Next up, we're going to be going for Citadel Lead Belcher. We're just going to do all of the normal metallic parts on this. There's so many great details on this model. Even the torch stood up there. The flames coming out from the, the top part of it. We've got all the casings from the rounds all over the base. And even down to dents and chips in the Marine's armour. So it's a really, really great base. Next we're going to be using Citadel Rakarth Flesh. This is going to be to do all of the bone. There's quite a few skulls and bits of bone sticking out, so look out for them. So you can get them all done in the one go. Next we're using Vallejo White, and that's going to be to paint his helm. Now whether you thin your paints or not, when you put this on, it's probably going to come out a little bit streaky. So you can crack on and give that a couple of layers, as long as you're careful you won't blot out any of the detail. You do want to end up with a nice pure white colour on this one. When we come back, we'll have all of the white finished. You can see we're up to so far on the base. We've also used the white on the flames coming from the torch. And we're now moving on to Citadel Avalan Sunset. We're just using that to do this cable running from the mound of debris down to the bottom of the base there. Like so. Now we're moving on to German Camp Bright Green from Vallejo. And this is just to do his Aquila. 
Now because of where it's positioned and I'm painting up for tabletop, not for any kind of competition or anything like that, the Aquila is only just going to be the German can bright green and then washed. But it's a nice green to do that with. Now we're moving on to Citadel on the fist on red. I'm going to be using this for the inside of his chest wound. And also to do a red stripe on his helm. Also the eye lenses on both of the helms as well. I'll just get this stripe finished and we'll move on to the next colour. Now we're moving on to Vallejo Black. This is going to be to do all the kind of tubing parts between the Space Marines armoured plates. Like so. Now we're moving on to the shades, and the first one we're going to use is Citadel Null Noil. We're going to use this on all of the debris at the bottom. So all the bits that you've painted with the Mechanicus Standard Grey, and also all the bits that you've painted with Lead Belcher, give them a good coat of Null Noil. When we come back, I'll have all the normal oil finished. Now we're moving on to Citadel Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to be using this to do all of the golds. That means doing each individual casing and the big golden wing at the back and the little golden aquila on the torch. Now we're moving on to Citadel Drachenhof Nightshade. We're going to use this blue just to do all of the blue armour on the Ultramarine. Like so. I'm just going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel BL Tan Green. That's just to do the laurel on his chest there. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Seraphim Sepia. We'll be using this on all of the skulls and the bone. Like so. Now a little bit of Fugan Orange and that is just going to be to shade the cable. Now it's time for Citadel Drucci Violet and that's just going to be to go over all the reds. That's the lenses, the stripe on his helm and also the bits between his ribs. Like so. Now I'm going to be doing the shade for his helm now. 
So we're going to use a bit of Sithdal Gilliman Blue Glaze. I'll just give it a bit of a blue tinge so that when you apply the white back over it, you'll have all the details showing up, but not too distinct. Now going back to Citadel McCrag Blue, to redo the blue of his armour, making sure that you leave some of the shade in the recesses. Painting the blue on this guy made me realise how much nicer it is painting blue than the yellow that I'm painting on the Lamenters at the moment. Now we're going to add a little bit of Vallejo white to the McCrag blue. We're going to just do the first layer of highlights on his armour. Now you want to be trying to get the highlights on the topmost edges as the light's hitting it from above. Like so. We've added a little bit more white to the previous mix. I'm just going to do one final highlight on his armour. Now this is a bit of an extreme highlight, so you're only going to be doing little bits. So sort of possibly taking up about a quarter of the area that you've just painted with the previous mix. And also making sure you use it on the very edges of any like gouges or details so that it is catching the light. Now we're just going to be using Vallejo White to repaint the white on his helm. Well, same as always, if you're painting it on it ends up looking a little bit streaky, just give it another little highlight, another layer, just so you have got that nice pure white colour. It makes the helm stand out so much. Like so. The next colour we're going to use is Citadel Retributor Armour. We're going to reapply the shine back to the gold. Now this is going to be for use on the wings and also all the casings that are littering the base. So you make sure you leave the Agrax Air Shade in the recesses. And if there are any bits that you think would be quite dark, then you can leave the shade on there as well. So like on the underside of things, you don't have to worry too much about painting the Retributor armour back underneath it. Now we're going to add Citadel Liberator Gold. Now we're going to be highlighting this the same as we highlight everything else, so as the light's coming down from above. I made this quite an extra long clip really, so you do get to see a bit more of how it works and how I do the gold. A little bit off camera there, try that again. So you see me stopping every now and again, and that's just to check as I'm holding it up that it, I'm trying to highlight the areas that do catch the light. Now the final step is to add a little bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. Now I'm just going to be doing almost edge highlights on the Golden Wing.
They're also doing both these layers, this one and the previous one, on the other areas as well, the Aquilas and the casings. Continuing with metallics, we're going to move on to Citadel Lead Belcher, and that is to go over all the silvery coloured metallics. Apologies for any background noise, I've got a cat scamping around me while I'm recording here. Now we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo Modeler Chrome. I'm going to be using this to highlight the silvery metallics. It's a really, really bright colour, so it does catch the light well. I'm not going to use too much of it, just on certain areas. Now we're moving on to Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're going to recolour all the dirt and debris and the rocks. So while we're painting the rocks here with the brush, we're going to kind of wet brush the main pile of debris just so it recolours the grey, but isn't as flat a colour, so you're leaving all the null oil in the recesses. So you can see how we're going to carry on doing that all the way round. Next grey we're going to use is Vallejo London Grey, and this is a lighter shade than Mechanica Standard Grey. I'm going to use it to highlight all the raised areas on the rocks and also on the debris at the bottom. I tend to use this when I'm highlighting the Astro Granite and Astro Granite debris as well. It's a nice coloured grey, very similar to the old Codex Grey, which is again what I'd usually use to highlight the greys many many years ago that is. The final colour that we're going to use is just the Leo White. We're just going to do a few little extreme highlights on the rocks. Again we're almost dry brushing this on, it's got slightly more than a dry brush on it but not very much more. It's just enough so you can catch the edges and highlight some of the raised bit of debris, some of the raised parts of the rocks and the edges on the rocks. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Avalon Sunset and we're going to recolour this cable. Like so. Now we're going to use a little spot of Citadel Uriel Yellow. We're just going to make that cable a little bit brighter. Now we're going to use some Vallejo Black. We're going to use that to do some stripes on that cable. Now depending on how you want to do the stripes, sometimes it's awkward to get them parallel. I haven't on this one, as you can probably tell when I'm going along, I'll have to re-go over some of the black with Avalon Sunset and then your real yellow again. What you can do though is if you get a pencil and just very faintly mark the lines out on there, it makes it a whole lot easier to paint them on. When we come back, we'll have all of those stripes finished. Now I'm going to use Citadel Ricard Flesh. I'm going to start working on the bone again. Now you want to be leaving some of the Seraphim Sepia in the recesses so that you still got that shade and the darkened parts of it. Just 
just going to carry on doing these and then we'll come back and move on to the next colour. Now we're using Citadel Ushabti Bone. We'll mix in some of that with the Rakar Flesh just to lighten that and give it a little bit more of a bone colour. Now I'll just add a little bit of Vallejo White to the previous mix. We're going to be using that to do the underside of the eye sockets and any raised edges. The edges that will be catching the light more. And we'll carry on these and then move on to the flame. And the first colour we're going to use on the flame is Citadel Cassandora Yellow Shade. And we're using the same technique as we did on the Fire and Flames with the Master of Possession. So I'll link the Fire and Flames video on this one. That'll be available in the text below the video. Now we're going to be using some Citadel Fugan Orange Shade. Now you want the lighter coloured flames nearer the top of the torch. So we're going to be adding the Fugan Orange to the bits that are coming out of it. A few little top parts of it because they're like swirls of fire on the top there. So you want to be having the raised parts of that in orange as well. And the same with the flames as they're getting further away from it. So there's going to be more and more orange on it the further away from the torch that you get. Now we're going to use some Caroberg Crimson on it, and again this is the same as the Fugan Orange. You're going to be having more of the Caroberg Crimson towards the ends of the flames, and less and less towards the top. Because the flames get darker the further away they are from the source. Final colour we're using on the flames is Citadel Null Oil. We're just going to blacken off some of the tips of the flames and the areas where it looks like it's turned into smoke. There's a few little sort of kind of rounded bulbous areas on the flames themselves. So we're just going to use the Null Oil on them too. When we come back, we'll have all the known oil finished. Now we're going to use some Athonian Camo Shade, and then we're working on the base again. And the debris, we're just going to be adding this around the bases of the rocks, as though there's a bit of damp there, maybe a bit of mould or lichen or something like that's growing there. A bit of mildew. Now we're going to be moving on to Citadel Agrax Earthshade. This is again just to add a little bit of discoloration to the debris at the bottom and a little bit around his armour to make it look like it's a, a bit dirty, a bit weathered. Next we're moving on to Citadel Caroberg Crimson. We're going to add a little bit of gore to the Ultramarine. He's got a nice open wound there, he's also missing an eye lens and so is the guy next to him. So we're just going to do a little bit of blood splatter 
around the eye lens of that one. And then move on to the main body and do blood running from his chest cavity where you can see the ribs and also a tiny little bit from the eye socket at the top. Now looking at the shape of the base we're going to be putting a lot of the Carabao Crimson running down towards his hand. The final thing that we're going to do is add a little bit of Citadel blood for the Blood God. This is a great glossy thick technical paint. It's ideal for adding a bit of blood or a bit of gore to your miniatures. So we're going to add some of this around the ribs, around the edges of the eye lens, just to give it that nice red gory shine that you'd like to see in an open wound. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media linked below. Thanks very much.